Hey guys, Chris here for Tuman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you the best way to change strings on a Floyd Rose loaded guitar. In this series, I want to show you how to set up your guitars and how to fix the most common issues without using too many special tools. This time we'll talk about changing strings on guitars with floating bridges. We have videos on changing bass and acoustic guitar strings. You'll find those in the description box. And we will shoot episodes on classical guitars and normal electric guitars too. So stay tuned and uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos. Floating tremolos are really sensitive and precise bridges. If you change the string gauge or even just the string brand, you will have to readjust them. I recommend sticking to the same gauge and same brand even if you don't want to do a fresh setup. If you want to learn how to adjust floating tremolos, stick around, we'll soon have a Guitar Tech Tips video for you. First, you have to get rid of the old strings. Before you do anything else, clamp the tremolo in its position with the back plate. Simply put a fine cloth on the body behind the trem, put the back plate on it, and slide it under the Floyd. Open the locking nut with a fitting Allen key, put the locking blocks aside and remember the order. You will need a 3mm Allen key for all current Schaller, Floyd Rose and Ibanez floating trams. Release the tension on the strings and open the clamps on the bridge to pull them out. It's the perfect moment to clean the fretboard while the strings are off. If you want to know why you should clean and oil the fretboard, we have a video for you. Check it out right there. Cut off the ball end of the new strings before you lock them in the bridge. How and where should you trim the strings at the headstock? Ideal is to have two to three winds on the tuner. To achieve that, you have to pull the string straight and cut it off two machine heads further. An example, if it's the E string, you will cut it at the tuner for the D string. Make sure that the winds are going from the center of the headstock to the outside, like this. It's also very important that the winds don't overlap and go lower and lower. Turn the fine tuning screws up as high as possible and then go down two turns. That way you will have enough room to fine tune the new strings. Tune up the strings before you remove the back plate from under the bridge. Be prepared to tune them over and over again until they all have the right pitch. As soon as you tune up one of the strings, the others go flat. That's because a floating bridge wants to stay in balance and compensate for every tension change. Stretch the strings and check the angle of the Floyd. The bass plate should be parallel to the body of the guitar. After that, you will have to tune again. You can then lock the nut and tune again using the fine tuners on the tremolo.
And now it's time for a test ride. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. I'd also love to see your recommendations, what you want to see in this format. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. <laughs> Simply put, a fine class. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's see if my brain works today. And open the clamps on the bridge to freedom. Free the strings! Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> what the hell?